It's lonely on top of the throne. I ain't making another pawn. Hop on a jet across the globe. I guess the world is my home and there's so many mil. Cause bird in my dome and like turbulent air. I'm switching these flows. If you look at my neck, boy, I'm letting it snow. I'm sturdy as hell as a vessel alone. They showing me love in my city. Gangs ain't hippies. Women like Nicky know what I'm about. I'm not, I'm not. The stereotypes, they do not fit me. I'm Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Carolina Panthers. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Mayfield now. And that is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Here's Mayfield. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And all the way down to the 26. A big play that time for Cleveland. 48 yards. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. And to give this time to the tailback. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up second and four at the 20-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. <laughs> I'm laughing to myself because I could just hear in film session. But, Coach, I was throwing to Dodell Beckham Jr. Of course I thought he was open. <laughs> They'd love to go deep downfield to him, though. Such a threat. Yeah, a rare incompletion because most of the time we expect him to actually come up with the catch. Mayfield. He finds Beckham complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. Let's go. Let's go. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Browns. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Let's go, let's go. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. You know darn well both of these teams reviewed the film and saw that this defense had five sacks last week. they got to keep their QB upright. And they're going to try their best to do exactly that. But they're facing a team where getting to the quarterback is a mindset. It's a mantra for them. And they play a game within the game, and you know what it is? Let's race to the quarterback and see who gets there first. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. You can't block me. You can't block me. Check. Check. Hot route. Hot, hot, hot. The shotgun snap for Stanford. And that will be incomplete. Demarius Randall that time there to knock it free. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The Browns drive about to get started. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Mayfield looks to throw. That's complete to Taewon Taylor. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. To throw, Mayfield. taken down back right around the 48 yard line tim williams coming in to drop him for a loss of eight and it also brings up fourth and he gets it away a directional kick going toward the sideline this one angles out of bounds at a good spot in the coffin corner and they're going to mark this out of the five yard line that is how you flip field position that's an absolute bomb of a punt downs it inside the five yard line absolutely ideal well, from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb Set, 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 yards and a Panther first down. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 42-yard line. Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. On second and nine, Stafford. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only one so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's the Panthers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. The Browns drive about to get started. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake the... Odell Beckham Jr., the 40, past the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, 76 yards. And the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. The electric OBJ, the short reception, and then he did the rest of the work himself. You know, there's a thing that the players always talk about, the coaches in the league, they call it play speed. Because, you know, we have that time speed when we're running the 40s at the combine and, you know, in pro days and all of that. But play speed is different. And OBJ's play speed is some of the best in the league. In other words, when he has a ball in his hands or he's running a route, he runs it just a little bit harder than most people, and oftentimes you come up wrong on your angles trying to tackle him. Oh, 
The point after is good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This fielded at the two. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Stafford. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Ready? Red 80. Going to give this time to the tailback. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Set, lady. Check, check. All day, punt. <laughs> Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's McCaffrey. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Hey, let's get that ball here. Let's get that ball right here. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. A handoff, McCaffrey running right, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of four, now third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Panthers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. 
Charles, 54 yards. I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally if he misses, it's accuracy, not length because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot. You know, maybe it's like my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. At their 48-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Six man. Check curls, check curls. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Now they'll run it on the toss. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Play fake. Mayfield. This is the tight end, the Joku. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. <laughs> Mayfield off the play fake. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. No gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield to the goal line, but it's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Mayfield to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. You know, but you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's, that's not a good combination. 
I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Now on second and 13, Stafford dancing to his left. His throw incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas, and it's third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. There's Stafford. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Play action. Stafford sliding out of the pocket. He's going to take off with it. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here we go. Here we go. Operating from the gun. Stafford. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. To throw again on second down. Stafford hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Back to throw, Stafford. He rifles one that's intercepted. Quincy Wilson with the INT. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. Partner, what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead has swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Extra point attempt to come here. And the lead is now 24. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line.
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. they got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Throwing on second and long. Stafford, he's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Call it a gain of three. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Ready. Off of play action, here's Stafford. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Here's the Panthers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And again this time to the tailback. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third down. Let's get it. On 80. Mike's 54. All right. Let's go, D. Let's go. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, 
relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Curtis Samuel. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Now Stafford will come up, try to get his guys a two-point conversion. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken very short. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Mayfield on first down. It finds his target, Beckham. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. A gain of 12. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. 
Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Throwing Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Now for the point after. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Makes the score runs 31. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Gardner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. From the 27th, Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to the always disruptive Olivier Vernon. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Taking a shot for Samuel. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Mike. 180. Hey, defense. Pistol, pistol, pistol. And to give this time to the tailback. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling. So they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward. And they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Why? 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 Get wide. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year, as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, Stafford. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Operating from the gun. Stafford. And he's got his target. That's more. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 20 yards. Stafford now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. From the gun, Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does he? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now Stafford. Quick hitch complete. It's Benson. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. In a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. And again this time to the tailback. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking.
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. And the Browns first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a like game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for Cleveland, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Panthers...